Welcome back to update number 19. Completed that spur uh, that I wanted to put the flour mill in and have been uh, working on the cornerstone uh, model to, uh, to put in that area. Uh, reworked my programming track board a bit to make it a little more uh, convenient for what I wanted to do with it. So got that done and uh, also made a trip up to uh, Michigan and picked up uh, some houses that I think are quite amazing and I'll show you those. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look what I've got done. I wasn't happy with the uh, last programming track I built. Used it a few times but didn't, just didn't quite do what I wanted. Um, I decided I wanted to have something that I could uh, digit tracks and load, be able to load sound files. Uh, into my locomotives, but I also still liked uh, having uh, the JMRI software and the NEC system, and this is from my uh, old power cab, so I just decided to move, mount it on here, and then I have a switch whichever side that I'd like to use to uh, for the project that I'm doing, but Anyway, we built a new track. Gives me a little bit better area for cleaning wheels on and doing my programming. Town is slow but sure. We're still working away. Uh, I took a trip up to Michigan, my old stomping grounds, and went to my uh, one of my favorite hobby shops. I guess they're all my favorite, but this one's a little more favorite. Um, and they had. Uh, picked up some of these houses and I'd like to tell you who does these buildings I can't quite do that I do know that he attends the Fort Wayne uh, train show and uh, he builds these off of the Sears catalog plans very detailed um, these are the only three I picked up now I want to add one or two more so I guess I've got to wait till next year till I can possibly get to the show and and see him. But the detail on these are just uh, amazing. So I'll recess those down into the uh, foam board a little bit, even them out, and get some start getting some grass. I guess my intention now will be down in uh, this area here, is I'll make this kind of look like a vacant lot, and maybe get a couple more houses in here a little later on. I've been uh, slowly working away on the milling company, uh, getting it uh, ready to put on the layout. Uh, fairly easy, uh, gets a little bit uh, complicated if you're going to do this cornerstone. Uh, uh, it's the Red Wing uh, Milling Company. Uh, this area right in here, it's uh, Got some centrifugal separators or whatever that drop down in there. It's a little bit rough. And then uh, there's a fire escape that goes up in here. That's about the only two parts. It's really fine and delicate work. So well, we're taking our time with this and trying to get this ready for the uh, for the layout. I get that back portion started to be finished off. Uh, just a quick note. Uh, when you're putting uh, some of these kits together, uh, take a minute and and maybe look at the item that you have to put together. Uh, I went ahead and painted these when they were uh, on the uh, oh plastic, uh, whatever you call the this area, you know, attached. Um, thought it would be easier, but now I'm coming back and having to clean the paint off so I can good get a good plastic to plastic uh, uh, surface uh, before I glue it. So, uh, like these parts here come in to be this, wind up uh, uh, being this part here. It's a fire escape. And I think this would have been a lot easier if I would have glued it together first and then come back and uh, painted it uh, separately uh, before I placed it on the model. We're finally down to uh, getting the awning on and trying to support this and get these small rods in. Uh, quite a trick. I, I actually had to make a piece that would uh, sit out here and hold this, a piece of foam. 
while I glued it here and made sure the angle was correct. Uh, one other thing uh, I found in my travels the last week or so were these sanding sticks, I guess I want to call them. It looks like it's a very thin piece of aluminum in there and then it's got a grit, I don't know if the grit is glued on there, if that's sandpaper that's actually glued on there and they come in different, uh, you know, this this is probably somewhere around uh, uh, 320 or maybe 400 here uh, this is more like about a 180, 100 but I found them to really start to become useful uh, they're only about an eighth inch wide but to get down into small spots you want to sand I think they were 30 cents a piece or something picked up a couple of them so something to look for at your hobby shop okay we've got the uh, flour mill 99 percent completed I will say the fire escape really took some time it, uh, uh, that was really something else to put that together not for the faint of heart on that one but um, got that I don't have the smokestack uh, glued on yet but um, and I want to pick up uh, some of those roof rooftop uh, pieces that you can put on uh, fans air conditioners whatever uh, before I normally put a real fine sand up there and and uh, trim that out with a some uh, glass bead I actually use in my sandblaster. Let's see how it looks on the layout. This is uh, where the flour mill will go in. Um, I'll make this uh, parking lot. I'll make it look concrete out here and around. Uh, there's area for trucks to uh, semis to come in and uh, put their load in on this far side over here uh, and then this part of the layout is going to be a junkyard uh, over in this area well the other day I received a box uh, some stuff I bid on eBay and won the bid on. Uh, I mainly wanted uh, the trucks and some cars that were uh, were there that were displayed. And, um, it did happen to mention Roundhouse in there but there never was any pictures of it or anything. But in the box there was lots of well the plastic cars they were kind of shown uh, tractors, semi uh, tractors. Uh, I may uh, put a uh, truck sales area on my uh, layout or something and display these but uh, just lots of um, uh, little tiny pallet jacks can be built um, just parts uh, don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of this stuff uh, this was a movie theater that was in there that's been kind of all broken up but the parts are there I can uh, I, I'm, I'm going to take it on as a challenge to, uh, to glue that uh, back together uh, I think these are some retaining walls, but so I mainly uh, mainly wanted uh, the vehicles, a couple of uh, cars. This one has no trucks on it. I'm not into car carriers, um, but I have to put some trucks on these things. Just stuff. But also, in there, and there was no pictures of this, was all these buildings. Some of them in halfway decent condition, and other ones, oh, uh, the chimney's uh, broken off of this one here. But um, stuff that I will probably not use, probably turn around and eBay it. But I was surprised. And then the big one was that the box was quite large and didn't quite understand why it would be. It would be a roundhouse came in there. And I don't know if it suffered the damage in the shipping, but uh, all the parts are here. And I think I may take it on as a challenge just to uh, rebuild this also. And probably give it away to somebody that if they want it or whatever. But uh, um, sometimes they don't show you everything that you're bidding on. So lots of stuff.
That kind of brings uh, update number 19 to a close. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and hopefully I've given you a few tips and ideas. Uh, thanks to uh, Mark, found my channel. He's one of my car buddies. Refer to him as Mad Max. But anyway, very best. And uh, everybody have a great day, a great week. We look forward to seeing you next time.